Hey guys, so today is Saturday, November 5th, and my baby Leon turned 11 weeks yesterday, which means he's almost three months, which is crazy, but makes me so happy that he's growing up. We had a pretty rough week this last week. Uh, he was super, super fussy pretty much the whole week. And I wasn't really sure why. Uh, at first I thought maybe it was just colic or he was just going through a stage or something. Um, but I actually ended up taking him to the ER on Thursday. Let me give you the full story. It's probably going to be a long one. <laughs> Thursday morning around like 2, maybe 3 in the morning, he was extra fussy, fussier than usual. And he woke up to eat and then he wouldn't go to sleep and I tried everything, everything that I usually do to get him to sleep. Um, I tried white noise, I tried running water, I tried rocking him different ways, bouncing him, everything. Um, anyways, nothing worked. So then he started crying, but like it was a different cry than he's ever done before. It was like a really loud screaming cry and he wouldn't calm down no matter what. He would stop for a few minutes and then he would start again really loudly. Around five in the morning, it got really bad and he wouldn't calm down and it was pretty scary. I was pretty worried. My mom and my sister recommended that I take him to the hospital, uh, to the ER. My sister ended up taking us to the ER around 5.30 or six, I think, in the morning. So we went to the ER and he was still screaming and crying on the way there, which is weird. Usually when he's in the car, he's pretty calm and he goes to sleep, but not this time. He was just screaming and crying. So we got to the ER and I checked in and everything. We waited for a little while and then they checked his temperature, his oxygen levels. And at first he was kind of calm, so they kind of didn't believe me. They're like, oh, well, he's not crying right now. But then he started crying and they saw for themselves that he was crying pretty um, loudly and strongly. They saw that he wouldn't calm down and stuff. So um, after they checked that, his temperature was normal. His oxygen was normal as well. So then we had to wait um, a little while longer to be seen by a doctor. He was crying the whole time. It was really, really, really rough. Uh, I was trying to calm him down, he wouldn't calm down, and I even cried. I had never heard him cry like that um, before. He never really cries like that. Uh, probably like the only time was when he was born, but since then he hasn't cried like that. So I calmed him down finally. He actually fell asleep for a while. Finally the pediatrician came and she saw me and she asked me what was wrong and everything. The only thing that I could think of that could probably be going on with him that was bothering him was that he was actually constipated for like a week so we actually had switched his formula to Gerber Good Start Soothe um, I actually switched it because I heard a lot of people giving good reviews about it saying it was really good for fussiness and that it was gonna um, that it helped their babies poop normally and every day and everything so I decided to switch it and give it a try and at first it was working well. Um, he was pretty calm, less fussy, but then I noticed he kind of started having harder stools. Um, it was kind of like a snake, like every time he would poop it was like a long snake poop. Uh, this might be TMI, but that's what happened. So at first I was like, okay, maybe I'll give it, you know, some time to see if it kind of gets regular and he starts going normally. You know, maybe he's just getting used to the new formula. So I kept giving him the Gerber Soothe and his poop was still doing that for a while. And I noticed he started going only like once every couple of days. He still seemed pretty okay and not that fussy. So I just kept giving it to him and waiting to see if it would regulate, you know, if he would get used to it. And I'm thinking that's probably what it was. So anyways, back to the ER. <laughs> I told the pediatrician that I was thinking maybe it was because he was constipated. So she checked his stomach 
and she said everything sounded normal and he looks healthy so she said she wanted to do an x-ray and I told her okay so then we went back to the waiting room and we waited to be called so then they finally called us like after a long time I had to stop the story to go do something <laughs> um, mom life so anyways where was I so we went to the x-ray room so they gave me a vest to wear and then they told me to lay him down on the table and hold his little arms down which I did and then they scanned him and uh, they just did a scan of his belly to see if there was anything wrong luckily they got it in one try and after that they told me to go back to the waiting area and wait to be called so they could let me know what's going on when we went back he actually woke up and he started crying so I fed him and he was still fussy and crying I pretty much walked around the waiting area with him I went into the bathroom I changed him rocked him he was still crying crying and it's pretty crazy, you know, when you're out in public and your baby's crying and people give you kind of like, you know, the stare down. But it's like, he's a baby, so you can stare at me all you want. But I just kept rocking him and, you know, trying to calm him down. Nothing really worked. So then, after a while, my sister told me, you know, you should go and ask and see if they're going to call you soon or what's going on with the results and stuff. I got in line to go ask about um, his x-ray and they actually called me when I was waiting in line so we went with the pediatrician and she told us that he actually had a big ball of poop pretty much a big stool uh, stuck inside and that's why he was so uncomfortable and fussy so then we actually went with her so that she could show me the x-ray and yeah it was really big um, it was pretty much almost as wide as his little hips. She said the bowels were still moving and there was still gas, which was good, but that the size of the stool was really big for his size since he's such a tiny baby still. They pretty much told us to get a suppository. Suppos suppository? I don't know how to pronounce it, but yeah. She said get one of those and put it in there today and hopefully you know he poops it out because it needs to come out and he's really uncomfortable that's why he's so fussy after that we left the hospital and we just went to get the suppositories at the store and when we got home we put one in there and right away after that he pooped like twice he pooped once and then he pooped um, again a little while after it still wasn't like a lot of poop like I was hoping for I was hoping for a poop explosion I know it's kind of weird for me to hope for a poop explosion but I was hoping for a poop explosion and it wasn't a poop explosion so but right after he did go he was a lot more calm and he actually fell asleep he slept a pretty long time he was a lot less fussy he's still a lot less fussy now which I'm so glad that hopefully it means he's feeling better and he's more comfortable we've actually gone back to his old formula the uh, enfamil gentle ease which is what he was drinking before the gerber i'm just gonna stick to that one from now on i'm pretty sure it was the gerber that backed him up so much and constipated him so badly he did poop again today he pooped twice which i'm really glad he did and like i said he seems a lot more calm a lot more happy and comfortable and he's been sleeping more which is good it was pretty scary taking him to the er and thinking you know that it could be something else and now we have his shots coming up on monday so that's going to be another adventure <laughs> uh we'll see how it goes so that's pretty much what happened it was a crazy experience but overall i'm glad he's okay and feeling better now